All right, hi guys, welcome back to the the Minecraft uh, Feed the Beast YouTube the beast. <laughs> super private server. Uh, Bob's here, Soul Grievers here. Bob's just griefing as he always does when he's not uh, complaining about it being dark for his bees. Brute Man's here. Well, Where's we ones. got a new member somewhere, guys? Have we lost the, Have we lost the new guy? Yeah. There he is. Where oh. is he hiding? There oh, he he's is. getting attacked by a zombie. Oh, right. <laughs> oh god damn. Uh, uh, welcome to the server. <laughs> so yeah, everyone should know by now who's seen any of my videos. We've got Kev. We finally convinced him that Feed the Beast is better than Tech It. And he's decided to come over and give it a try. So, uh... Well, yeah, I've stopped playing Tech It. <clears throat> in this episode, guys, we're going to go to the Nether. And Brute Man is going to show us a, an interesting way to get there. So, hand over to Brute. Because this sounds like a trickery and magic to me, but well, this is a vanilla style, and a friend of mine, uh, known as Big Jimmy Twelve, he uh, he showed me this little trick. In the water. And, uh, in the water. You know, if you don't have diamonds and whatnot, but you do want to get to the Nether, you want to get yourself some Nether stone. Um, basically, all you need is a bunch of iron and get yourself a lava source nearby, either while you're mining or whatever, and get yourself a couple of buckets. Now I've went ahead and used up a whole bunch of iron to make enough buckets to do this, so I. Because we don't have lava nearby, but um, the simple trick is just using a mold system to build the nether portal. And I'm sure a lot of people know how to do this, but if you pour water on lava, you get obsidian. Yep. So all you got to do, oh, where's my pickaxe? I don't have, I give the soul griever. Oh, yeah. I chop that out. Oh, you got one. Nice. So all you do is just keep pouring lava and pouring water on it. And you can build yourself a portal. Now, what I've used, what I'm going to use is sand. So, my next block needs to be right here in between all this. So, I build a little mold, pour the lava in the mold. Don't fall in the lava, Bob. So pretty. And oh, there we go. We We've just... already got the, the shape of the portal starting yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah. So, we just build keep... it up around that. Yeah, That's just pretty keep cool. building up. Put another bucket of lava in. Wouldn't take, shouldn't take too much longer here. So you need ten blocks of obsidian, right? So you need ten, uh, ten buckets of lava. I believe it's twelve. Uh, two at the bottom, three on each side, and then two at the top. We can use ten. That's ten. Yeah, yeah, that's ten. That's ten. That's ten. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> oh, it's, I, I went and got twelve anyway, but yeah. A couple of spares can't hurt, right, guys? So you, you've so got a flint and steel, yeah? Now. Yep, I've already uh, pre-made that before you. Lovely. Started. Oh yeah. Um, while you guys mentioned it, uh, another note to anybody looking to do computer craft is you can also refuel like we showed you earlier in the previous episode using a lava bucket. Oh, nice. <laughs> Bob's trying to light me on fire. What was that? Yeah. I mean, uh, I've, seen, a... I've seen that. It sounds a bit dry. It just catches fire easily. Uh. Well, he wasn't looking too well in the first episode. <laughs> so are turtles being a little monster? I'm not a TV series. I'm always serious. No. Little monsters. Ah, uh, I love that movie. Is it a By film? the way, guys, just a warning. I'm firing up the hobbyist engine. Okay. <laughs> Don't Everyone forget to switch them off. Cause, of uh, yeah, my ones blew up and now I'm running on magmatic. Because they don't blow up. Well, it's only got one charcoal each, so it can't explode anyways. Famous last words, so. <laughs> <laughs> it might not even get up to temp. Okay, this looks like it's nearly there, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready for the yeah, ultimate uh, the nether mission? One. Are you ready, guys? I'll be staying here with the turtles. <laughs> Chicken. Yeah, because we don't have a chunk loader. <laughs> oh, yeah, too. That's very true. All right, so we dig away the uh, the mold, and we should have another portal. 
It's magic. Too much witchcraft. digging there, Bob. It's fine. Okay. That's All right. Good. Light this puppy up. Yep. Bonk. There we go. Anybody got a pick? Oh, you got uh, my pick. I'll give, you, I'll give you your pick back. There okay. you go. I'll okay. go make go another in. one and uh, go dump in. these buckets off. You can go in if you like. I know you're impatient, Bob. Let's go in. <laughs> Fooled you. you. Looked like I was going and in then... there with you. Can you. I found the entrance, Bob. Come here. Where? I found some never brick right here. It's just four never brick. Go to the edge. Where we was looking down. I don't think fortresses ever have an entrance, you just make one usually. Yep. <laughs> I found an easy entrance. <laughs> okay guys, give us a clue here. Where's this fortress? Uh head north. Nice glowstone there, right there. Oh, nice. Fortunately we get glowstone from oh, our yeah. mining worlds I now. I see it, I see it. It's down there. I'm just gonna set a waypoint up here so I know the way out. Oh yeah, I see it down there. I've made a way into the pool. What is that? It's like a flying thing. Is that a... So how did they get down there? Uh, well, we jumped down there. Oh, like from some stairs. 82 up? Lovely. Oh, I see a name over here. There you are. Yeah, I'm... With the skeleton. Yeah, I've jumped down there. I've got way in. Cool. In. Oh, this is a different fortress. Oh. Uh, or maybe it connects under. Yeah, it mm. might connect around to that one. Maybe. It does look like it's a different fortress. Alright. Okay, so I didn't bring any torches, <laughs> so. I got torches. <clears throat> uh, any nether wart you find in soul sand, grab it. We need that. Yep. We need a bunch of this nether brick, too, so when we find a nice solid area of it, we can mine it out. Hey, Brute, so to confirm, whenever uh, we start that turtle, uh, I define. I, yeah, uh, yeah. I define Found it never to more. mine. Cool. 16. Right. So that includes the one that you placed it down in, correct? Sorry, uh, pardon? It's mining 16. Yes. So it mines From the, the one... block that it's sitting in, it'll go 16 by 16. Alright, that's what I wanted to make sure of. Yeah. Starting in the block that it's currently in. Thank you. I hear blazes. Mm-hmm. Oh, in the blazes? I got one. I got one. Ah, I got a blaze rod, too. Yeah. Oh, I hear a lot of them. Yeah, we blaze spawner nearby. Yeah, there's a couple of spawners down this way as mm -hmm. well. Maybe I can, if it's... Oh, yeah, they're there. Get a cementer chest. <laughs> Is that dead end down there, Rich? Um, well, it goes to, like, lava and blaze spawners, so... <laughs> Okay, okay, so then. where are these guys spawning? Are they? Hmm. That's a dead end. <laughs> did you go up? I did. Yeah, I just been up there. Nothing up here, right? Nope. Sweet FA. Okay, I'm gonna tower up here. Come back up there with you guys. And see what's going on. So you don't need a tower. I built stairs. All right. Well, right I'm, just, I'm using nether axes. Horrible stuff anyway. Oh, somebody mined out my stairs. <laughs> yep. <coughs> Gonna die. Where are you? Oh. Oh. oh, no. Gonna down with it away. Welcome to the server. <laughs> oh, here's all your stuff. Yeah, I'll just wait for him. Yep. I got... Actually, no, we probably should pick it up. He, yep, he'll probably rot with all of us sitting here. Yep. I don't well, know where the wither went, though. Get him right near me. I killed him. I died oh, of you, wither. you did kill him. Oh, you died of the wither. Okay. Quick teleport me. Uh, I think for a, a... Yeah, a skeleton just came through to teleport with me. Yeah, they can now. Let's hope I'm to find a blaze spawner. Should have one around here. I never oh, found one. It's covered in lava. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I've got a wither. Oh my god, two. I should have uh, got my Vorpal sword with me. Yeah, that Vorpal sword would be pretty good right now. Looks like Bob's found some blazes here. Oh, Jesus. Yep. 
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, we got kind of split up here, guys. I'm back at yeah, the burning uh, spot where you were getting the, the dirt. Oh, there's you Gunner. You picked up my stuff. Yeah, I got it. I'm a chicken. Your, your boots. That, 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 that. I think I have a little bit of it, but nothing you'll need. Um, did we come in here? This is where we came in. I think, I think that's about it. I just got some nether rag and stuff. If you've got a little bit of food, I could have. Oh, watch out for the bat. Oh, damn it. What, bats are damaged, yeah? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the uh, nether bats or fire bats, they'll set you on fire. Oh, cheers, mate. Bat is turned against okay, me. I've got a huge magma cream here. Magma slime. Gonna right. Where are you? Try Chuffing. and take him out. Yeah, yeah, I need to get him away from the edge. Oh my god, two. This one's not as big. That's what she said. <laughs> Quite like some uh, magma creams. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I'm back. Oh, hello. Hello. Bob. I was like, where is everyone? <laughs> Come on, magma cream. I've got one magma cream. Thank you, you can make them with uh, slimes and blaze powder. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, a blaze spawner. Let me catch up to you so you can show me where that one is in lava. Maybe we can make use of it. Is it kind of open to the world, or? Yeah. I can't oh, remember okay. where it was. Well, if you want to come unload your stuff here, I can go help them. Oh my god, bats. Goddamn bats set me on fire. But I gotta keep this area loaded. Um, no, you're cool. You're cool. I'll just, I'll wait for these guys to do their magic. I want to see how this works anyway. Alright. Well, Bob, uh, Bob has got to get it out to the sides more. You need an 8x8x3 yeah. by eight by around the spawner. And you've gone like way high, you don't need it to be that high. It's fine. Eight, eight wide, eight long, one above the spawner, one on the spawner level, and one uh, below it. So we need to basically get this side all built out. I just went mad and tried to. Without uh, dying in this bloody lava. Can we get that lava cut off more? Yeah, that was my plan. I was gonna try I've run out of uh, get rid of oh, lava. Oh, jeez, what the hell. I think the front of this needs more... Uh... We're still getting spawns right in the very front, so... Scared the crap out of me, lag there. Oof. Yeah, I think the front face of this needs yeah another layer right here. Okay guys, and we are back. Now I've done a little bit of stuff off camera there because these are a bit tricky, so Brute's actually gone back through the portal and he's made these linking books and this makes it nice and simple for us to get backwards and forwards. Kev has been protecting me with his life, uh, fighting off any nastiness that comes anywhere near. Now, Kev's Brute, on fire. <laughs> Kev's on fire. See, Kev takes the hits for me, which is good. <laughs> Bye. Okay, Brute, so we've covered this blaze spawner in how many layers? Uh, well, I'm not sure. We kind of went overkill. Bob really just plugged went that crap out of the it. spawner yeah. and he went much higher than he needed to. And, okay. Uh, I heard a... Yeah, uh, he's, he's down low. Okay. Um, but basically we've isolated the spawner. We've, we've filled in all the blocks and you need to go out about two blocks wider. You can see here where the where the nether channel normally is for yep. normal nether building. So we've gone out two blocks wider to isolate the spawner completely, filled in all the blocks so they really don't have anywhere to spawn. Okay. Uh, so to start, and this is going to be the dangerous part, we need to fight as we go. We need to find the spawner where it is, which should be just up inside here somewhere. There it is. So there's our blaze spawner. I don't have any torches. There's a blaze. <laughs> okay, I can't get in. 
There we go. Yeah. Could you just stick a torch up there? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. So that way you can see what I see. Uh, so we now know where the spawner is, and I'm just gonna fill this block back in. So we're gonna first build a room down. About uh, I believe you gotta get. thinking it's nine or ten blocks below the spawner so we're gonna first basically where we come in to step up here we're gonna go down below it cutting through the floor okay so this is the channel that they're gonna fall down right here okay and so on the outside we just need to make a wall so that they can't get out yep using whatever materials you got on hand <laughs> So let's just uh, quickly cut this out so we know it's one, two, three, four. Is that right? Four by four? Plus one is five. Let me just go out here and look again. It's so hard to do and people are helping you and you ended up getting things filled in differently. Yeah, they different shapes and whatnot, yeah. This will work, I suppose. But essentially, you want to cut a slice all the way around the tower, and they'll spawn in that slice and drop down to the room below. And I'm just going to get it sort of started, and we can do a demonstration of it. And then uh, we can cut back later to a full finished room. In another video if you want yeah well i'm well probably going to be using this so as yeah. and when i'm using it when it's finished i'll just do a little video showing off uh, how we use it so the biggest thing here is just to make sure the walls are all smooth and there's room for everything to fall down and not escape Yep, seems like they're uh, falling in here. Yeah. Don't get a lot of blaze rods from them. Getting more nah, that's why you need a looting sword or something like that. But yeah. uh, it is a source of coming to get blazes. Oh yeah, definitely. And the biggest thing is to get them down that nine blocks away from the spawner so that uh, the spawner will continue to spawn more. You can kind of just sort of sit here AFK and let a whole bunch of them get down here floating on the, on the ledge. Yep. It is a lot slower than making a full-blown mob trap of them because every time the blade spawner tries to spawn, it uh, it'll try and spawn in in uh, the solid area that we've filled in. Like yeah. we're not giving it the optimal area to spawn in. We're saying you can only spawn in this little groove. So the spawner will do three, two, three cycles of spawning, but it's hitting different areas that are solid blocks, so it can't actually spawn. And then all of a sudden, boom! It pops one out in the groove. Yeah. But still, they uh, they add up enough. If you got to come down and get five or ten blaze rods, you can spend a half hour there. And it's very easy to build, very simple to make. Basically, you just need to isolate the spawner at the top, fill it in with all the blocks, or light it all up with torches, and then just cut a groove down around the side and build yourself a little platform for them to sit on top of and uh, sit here and whack away. Very nice, very nice. I think mm -hmm. I'll be using this thing for sure. So, uh, I'll do a better tutorial video, probably in creative mode, showing this uh, showing this spawner. I mean, we did all this in uh, SMP. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it's it's uh, rough looking with just about every variety of block type <laughs> <laughs> used, but it does what it, what it's meant to do. Yep. Just got another blaze rod. So oh, there we go. Stuff. We got a blaze spawner. Uh, because of the Nether portal problem, we've set up some linking books, and we've yep. got a access to the Nether. Great stuff. I, I'm going to empty this chest and bring it all back with me. So I think that'll do for our Never Adventures, guys. Hopefully you've uh, you've enjoyed watching us make the portal, make made some linking books, and Brute's taught me, and I'm sure he's taught Kev, how to build one of these. And these are cool if you want to get some uh, blaze rods. So all that's left to say is thanks very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.